All right, so now when the event is over, here are my thoughts and opinions about the current state of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, this list is in no particular order. I just kind of sat down and just wrote down the first things that came to mind. And the first thing is actually time to kill related. And I do feel like the time to kill in this game is a little bit too fast. Whoa. Now, I was playing on 60 hertz. I was playing on, you know, not my own settings and stuff, and that can obviously come into play, play uh, a part uh, with it, making it seem like you're dying a lot faster. There was definitely some stutters from time to time. Um, but yeah. Now, in terms of game modes and such, we tried the 10v10 mode. Well, we, we tried the 2v2 mode. We tried a 10v10 mode. We tried a 20v20. And I've heard rumors. We didn't play it at the event, though, that it's going to be a 100-player mode, which I don't know if anybody said BR, but that's the first thing I'm thinking about. But that's just a rumor at this moment in time. I don't think that's, a, that's been confirmed anywhere. But 10v10 felt nice. 20v20, we didn't get to play that much because actually the game crashed. Now, I don't know if the editor can cut to this, but actually went on a pretty good streak. And I thought that, man, this is going to be the one gameplay that sticks out for me. And then the lobby crashed, obviously. I mean, some people say sabotage. I would definitely say sabotage. No! Boo! But it's fun that Call of Duty is pushing, not pushing the envelope as much as, you know, because there's definitely games that have bigger modes. Look at Battlefield, right? Battlefield is known for having a massive mode, 64 players. Um, but it's good that Call of Duty is stepping into that space a little bit of higher, um, uh, bigger game modes uh, in terms of 10v10, 20v20, and potentially 100 players, right? Now, a lot of people are asking me about the weapons and the loadouts that I find the best in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the two guns that stuck out to me that I used the most and that the people at the event used the most was the MP7 and the AK-47. Now, you can play around with the different attachments. I saw a plethora of different uh, setups you could run. Um, we obviously had everything unlocked. There was a, a, a ton to see. You can actually check out the VOD on my Twitch channel where we go through every perk, every attachment, everything. Uh, it's all neatly placed on the, the Twitch channel. But MP7 and AK-47 seems to be really, really strong, and it was the most used weapons at the event. Now, the one mode I didn't really talk about is the 2v2 mode, and this mode is a lot of fun. You spawn in with random guns. Every player has the same guns, but they're all randomized, so you can get, like, a, a sniper scope on a shotgun or, or you know, a long-distance scope on a shotgun, and you're thinking, this is not going to work out. But it, it's kind of, like, fun. It's meme uh, but it's also very, very competitive. Like, we did a little, uh, like, in-house tournament, and, and, you know, the game is going to have an integrated bracket system for tournaments, which makes uh, in-house stream tournaments, like, against viewers and subs, kind of fun. You're definitely going to check that out in my channel. But um, yeah, the mode is, is a lot of fun, super competitive. I like the maps, much smaller maps, so you can't like go and run somewhere and hide. Um, do like the 2v2 mode a lot. I think we're going to play that a whole bunch in my stream. Now, in terms of other modes, we have the nighttime mode uh, and the realism mode. Now, in this one, in the nighttime mode, uh, obviously, it's is night. I don't know if you can kind of tell that by the name. Uh, but in this one, you kind of get to pick and choose when you want to enable your night vision. And there comes a little tactical aspect to that. Because when you enable that, you get a laser pointer so you can see where you're aiming. But then you can also see everybody else's laser pointer. And that's only when you have night vision mode enabled. So it's not always the best thing to have it enabled, even though it might be dark because you will essentially just give away your position. And with realism mode, you have the aspect of you have, obviously have no HUD uh, and you get no confirmation when you get a kill. So you can be shooting at somebody, but you don't actually know if you've, you've gotten them because there's no feedback telling you, hey, you got a kill. Hey, you've been awarded 100 score, 150 points. There's none of that. Uh, I don't think this is uh, modes that I'm going to play a lot. I, I tend to enjoy the regular. Sometimes I enjoy the hardcore mode in Call of Duty, but for the most part, I um, I, I, I want to have that feedback when I when I take somebody out. That hey, all right, he's done. Now I can move on to the next one. So I don't know if that's something that you guys enjoy, but that's something that I noted down. So there you have my thoughts and opinions about the current state of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, I do say current state because they can add things, remove things, tweak things along the way up until final release on October 25th. But as of right now, I like it a whole lot. But I want to know what you guys think, right? In the comment section down below, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you kind of like, eh, I don't really care much for Call of Duty. Maybe this is the first time you've been excited for Call of Duty in quite some time. I've been hearing a lot about that on social media. So whatever your thoughts and opinions are, please leave them down in the comment section down below. And with that said, it's going to wrap up this video. Please like and dislike it, depending on if you liked it. Please enable post notifications, subscribe to this channel to never miss a upload. 
And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video on this channel later. Bye-bye.